Vanatha once again fell unconscious. Her eyes were also closed. Little by little self-remembering began to come. She realizes that her marriage to the prince, whether in Nagaloka or Devaloka, is just an illusion. She remembered hearing the tragic news about the prince and standing on the bank of the stream and falling head over heels into the water. These memories disappointed her to no end, they also gave a sharp stabbing pain in the chest. She tried to open her eyes but couldn't. Who lifted himself out of the water and landed on the shore? Must be the youngest brat. It must be Kundave Devi who was coming in a boat at a little distance. Why should he save himself? Shouldn't it have been lost at once? As soon as he was able to open his eyes and speak, why did you save me? That should fight with the youngest brat. Is his love for his dear brother so much? Here is Ilya Prati speaking. What does he say? Who is he telling? Kin ask. Something's going on in her unconsciousness. It's a great thing that she's alive. If only our boat had been a little farther off. If we hadn't seen her fall into the stream. It makes me sick to think of it. Had we not looked, this woman's life would have ended happily in a way that would have gone well. The Kajumbalar princess who survived must have suffered so much in her life. Ah! Who is this? Speaks to us so sympathetically? Yes, that's the boy, he is the heroic young man who saw the child in the astrologer's house and in the palace. The prince himself must have brought the whole message at sea. What else are they going to talk about? Listen, even if you can't open your eyes, don't you hear well? What is this, you speak so heartlessly? Do men have hearts of stone? Said the voice of Ilya Prati. What have I said now to judge you to be so stone-hearted? You said it would be better if this girl died, isn't that enough? Do you know how much trouble I am raising her? Did you hear her last words? What fell into your ears? I heard you said something about marrying a prince. Yes, her mouth mumbled like that, even in an unconscious stupor. Desire for a prince is so ingrained in her heart. That desire is not good for this woman. It will lead to suffering and disappointment. Why do you say that? Who else is a high caste woman fit for a prince than her? Don't you know about the ancient Kajumbalar warrior dynasty? I know very well. What I think is one thing, what you say is another. What if this woman is of a high caste? The strength in her mind is not going to be fulfilled. The obligation will be fulfilled. That is the strength in her mind. My heart, the decision I am making. Despite their decision, this matter will not be fulfilled. Why are you saying that again? Is it true what you said a while ago that Prince Nagipatanam is safe in Sudamani Viharam? Ah! What good news is this? Is the prince safe? Is Nagipatanam in Sudamani Viharam? Were these ears given to hear this message? How fortunate that I survived without drowning in the stream. I am indebted to Ilya Prati in many ways. This one has just joined. But alas! What is this message above? It's like pouring lead into your ears. Lady! It is true that the prince is safe. So what is certain that her wish will be fulfilled? I think the prince will not marry this girl. You can think whatever you want. There is a man in this world who can do it without crossing the line I set and without knocking my words. He is my brother Aromas Hivarman. Princess. Such a one am I. Then what do I lack? What is the obstacle to the fulfillment of my intention? Will the revengers come across even this, what? I do not know that. I know that the prince has boundless love for them. He will take their word for anything else. He has little interest in ruling the kingdom. He refuses the Salon Bell crown in front of my eyes. Yet he will even agree to rule the kingdom if they insist. But to marry this woman? You mean he won't agree? What fault did he find in her to reject my lovely friend like that? What did you see? Mother! I do not see a fault in this woman, even if I saw it, I would not believe it. Even the lowest Jedi girl who works in the palace of the younger Prati is a goddess to me. 
The Murkuti who lives in the garden of the younger Prati seems to my eyes superior to Devendra's Aravada. The prince also does not see a single fault in this girl. But his mind is different. Couldn't have gone to the girl. Oh! What cruel words! Why is this young man working on our wounded souls like this? Monkey warrior! I do not understand what you are saying. Why are you speaking such slander about my brother? No slander, madam. I speak the truth, what I have seen with my eyes and what I have heard with my ears. Speak up. Now I'm ready to hear no matter how hard it is. Didn't I tell you about Punguzali, the runaway girl? She is the one who took me to Sri Lanka. She is the one who saved the prince and me from the sea. She is also the one who took the prince to Sudamani Viharat in a boat. I would not have trusted the prince just by relying on Sendan Amudan. I have trusted the prince. I have trusted that girl. Even if she had a thousand lives. She will dedicate herself to the prince. So what? Is a running girl a running girl? Can she dream of marrying a world born? Can a little sparrow fly high in the sky and see a circling Garuda? Why not? Even the sparrow can look up at Garuda, even the black can look down and desire the sparrow. If any such thought has arisen in my brother's mind, I am the one to dispel it. Not even. I have saved Aromas Hivarman from so many dangers. I will also escape from the trap of this prostitute. Is a runner so discounted? Is clan and tribe so important? Does the runner's body also have red blood? Doesn't her heart beat like the heart of princesses born in the palace? If you look, the love of princesses may be mixed with the desire for kingdom. But, that runner's love is pure, holy. The prince also believes so. Why do others come across? Van? Come now, I uh, take my case. If I can split my chest open and show you what's inside. No, no. Let what is in your heart be safe as it is. That is good. Love, desire, romance are all right for others born in the world. But the matter of those who are born to rule the kingdom is different. They should marry within the royal clan. Do not be distracted. Otherwise, many troubles will arise from it. In our family. There is a fitting example for that. In my father's youth, when there was no intention that the kingdom would come to her, a girl who grew up in the forest like this. But why should I tell you all this now? This girl is also faint and conscious and her eyelids are moving. Is there anything else to say? Is there anything else to say? You said you were exposed to many dangers, didn't you? Say it. Yes. Princess. On the day when the prince renounced the Sri Lankan throne and the bell crown, as we were coming through the streets of Anuradhapura, Suddenly the facade of a building collapsed. If we had lingered there for a moment, it would have fallen on our heads. We would have been buried alive. At that moment a lady suddenly appeared there and signaled and called the prince. I don't know who she is. But she seemed familiar in front of the prince. Don't be suspicious. Madam. That lady is mature. How much will it cost? She who could be the mother of a prince and deaf and dumb. What? Say something else. An old woman who was born deaf and dumb. She was over forty-five years old. Sir. Did you see such an old lady in Eland? Tell me more about her. Do you know anything about her birth and upbringing? Where was she born? She was born on an island in the sea next to Eland. Princess Kuntavai Devi became extremely excited and said Sir. Tell me more. How is she looking? She said. Ma'am. I saw a miracle in her appearance. I hesitate to say it. Don't hesitate. Tell me quickly. She was just like a woman I had seen in the Chola country, only older. She was headless without ornaments. Otherwise the same face. The same appearance. Indeed I was deceived for a minute. Sir. Such a woman who is she here? Princess. Can't they just guess? Me? Is this girl Vanati? 
My mother in Tanjore Palace. No one you mentioned. Pavur Ilayarani Nandini. Yes, it's Nandini. Oh God! So what I suspected was true. What did you suspect? Thinking that she was worse than a poisonous dragon, I doubted that the woman I hated might actually be my daughter. I knew from what they said that it was true. The cruelty of fate is cruel. From this, it seems how evil it is for a royal family to marry a woman of unknown clan and tribe. Amini. I am not so ignorant of clan and tribe. Our ancestors ruled the country of St. Hamel for three hundred years. They imprisoned Cheras, Cholas, and Pandyas. Today, though I have no kingdom, I have a sword in my hand, I have strength in my shoulder, I have courage in my chest. Sir! I will listen to their honours a little later. There are many things to be done immediately. I still need your help. Will you give it? If I had a thousand lives I would give them. It's as if you were born with the water-slinging girl. Good, no more of that talk. Behold, this girl is about to open her eyes. Yes, by this time Vanati had regained full consciousness. Power is also born in the body. Many thoughts came to mind. She was determined to stay alive until she proved her love for the prince was greater than that of the runaway girl. Also, he remembered the scene he saw in the lamentations he heard one night in the room where the emperor was lying in the Tanjore palace. Their meaning has also begun to unfold. When Vanati's eyes woke up, the young man asked, My dear, how are you now? She asked with love. I have nothing. Sister. I am embarrassed to think that I have disturbed them, she said. At that time, Alwarkadayan entered and said, I have come to cause trouble. Goddess. At the gate of the palace, the crowd is confused. The people are furious because the prince has drowned in the sea. If you don't come immediately and say peace, disaster may happen.